Hi there, and welcome to another quick video tutorial from Heighton Ridley and Razama Zazzle. This one is a refresher on creating templates. In it, I'll show you how to create a template to use with Quick Create or manually to create products for the marketplace. First, though, let's create a hidden category, your eyes only, where you'll post it. So let's create the new category. Now I'm already in my public uh, products area and that's where I want the new category so just click add new category. I'm going to give it a name of a uh, demo one and I'll make it hidden. The reason I've given it that name is so that it shows up in the top of the list and you'll see it in a moment there it is. And that's where we're going to post the, uh, uh, the template. It's important to say right now that whenever you're creating a new template set, you really need everything to go into the same category. I'll explain why later, but for now, just uh, trust me on this one. So let's go ahead and start creating this template. We'll do it for a t-shirt, so let's click here. It could be up here somewhere, but I'll choose to do it from here. Create new product. And in a moment or two, let me just uh, zoom out. Now I'm pressing control and while I'm holding it I'm pressing zero once. That brings uh, everything to 100% zoom in Firefox. There you go, nice little tip for you. Anyway, I said we were going to create a t-shirt template so let's go ahead and do that. There we go, there's a t-shirt and I just click the particular style that we want and OK, it's very kind of it to uh, come up and prompt us with this, but we don't want to uh, to use this route, so we'll just click straight away on Make It Now. I'll just quickly summarise first what I'm going to do. I'm going to add an image to the front. I'll make it a template item. I'll then post it into the category that I've just made for it. And then I'll try it out and let you see it in action. How does that sound? So let's add the image to the front. Here we go. Click on Add Image. I'll choose the one that I want. Click on OK. And there we can see the image. So let's go ahead and make this a template object. Click on the little gears icon. Put a tick in the box. And let me briefly describe what this is all about. If you were going to make this an image which a customer would be able to replace with their own, it would be important to get this product page label right. But that's not what you're doing. What you're doing is creating a template that you will use to create products for the marketplace. So it's not really important what that's called. Leave this set as image one and I'll explain a little bit later on why that is. For now though, we're done turning this into a template object or a template item so we can close the little box. Back again, that was a great cup of tea. Okay, now let me show you something um, quite, uh, quite nifty here. I've navigated to my category and we can see with uh, the sort order set to popular nothing's there yet. However, if we change the sort order or the display order to newest there it is. Newest in the Zazzle's indexes and so on when new, new products are created. I guess the first index that gets updated in behind the scenes with them is the newest one. Um, and then later on, the, the whatever mechanism they use for popular, it'll eventually ripple through to there. So as they say in many of their screens, uh, you have to give it a few minutes to show up everywhere. Anyway, so um, there we go. Uh, we can now see the uh, uh, the template product that we created and now we're going to do something with it. And just to show you that I wasn't pulling your leg, let's uh, quickly put that back to popular. Oops, gone. Put it back to newest. And there it is again. Okay, let's now go ahead and create a new product using this product template and we're going to do it by hand. So I'm clicking on the product. I'm just going to zoom back out again and if you recall, for Windows users at least, press and hold the control key 
and press the zero key. And of course, that's uh, Firefox. So it may work in uh, in other uh, operating systems as well. So the key thing to notice is there is your template object, your template item. And remember, this is a template product for you to use to create products for the marketplace. The customer won't get the chance to upload their own image. This is just for you. I'm keeping it simple for this tutorial. So let's say that you had created a brand new design and just uploaded it. Then in this personalize it area, click the image. And in a moment or two, choose the image that you want, click on OK, and there we can see the new image has replaced the template item. We haven't quite finished it, uh, it yet. In order to be able to post this for sale in the marketplace, we have to now customize it. Now there's nothing here that we have to do other than click post for sale. Of course when you're doing this for real you get the opportunity to perhaps move the image around a little bit if when you created this new design it didn't exactly sit in the same place as the um, image you used for the, uh, the the template item. But we're okay here so let's uh, continue. So we click post for sale. So here we are on the post product for sale screen. I'll just scroll the window so that we can see more. And that's everything that we need to see. Okay so what do I want to say about this screen? Okay, well the title, that's uh, come in from the template product. So if you'd got it right when you created that product, then it would come across correctly here. Same for the subtitle, description, tags. Um, same for public category one, public category two. Uh, store category, um, I'm going to leave it in the uh, the demo category that I created, but of course you'll change this to uh, one of your proper categories. Obviously you'll keep it as public because it's going to go into the marketplace. You'd set your royalty percentage, tick the box to say that you've got the rights, uh, and then post it. Well for me I'm going to uh, make it hidden because I'm not really posting it into uh, the marketplace. And post it. And there we are and in a little while that'll turn up in the uh, category where we placed it. Okay, here we are. We've now got the uh, the new product that we've just created by hand from the template item. Now let's have a quick look at it and uh, be prepared for a, a little surprise. So looking at the product page here, see the orange arrow asking us to personalize it. Look, it's still a template item. That's because Instead of using Quick Create, where this would have been dealt with, we've done it manually. If we did not want the customer to provide an image here, then in the previous step, before we posted it for sale, while we were customizing it, we should have gone to that uh, image, uh, image uh, layer and then clicked on the little gears icon and took the tick away from the make it a template item. However, um, this is only for demonstration purposes. Uh, it's rare that you use a template uh, object, uh, sorry, a, a template product to make just one item at a time. And actually, that brings me on to uh, what I promised I'd explain a little bit earlier, and I'll do that shortly, uh, and then after that, we'll go on and use it in Quick Create. I said before that it was important when you were starting a new template set to create a new category to hold that template set. And the reason for that is... I'm just pausing for a moment while I bring up the screen that will help me to, uh, to explain what I mean. So I just click on Customize It. Click 
on the little gears icon. OK, now I can explain properly. So I've highlighted the URL parameter name because that's what we're going to focus on. Quick Create expects every single product template in a category to have the same number of template items as every other product in that same category. That's just the way it works. So if you've got two images on a, one of the products, then you've got to have two images, the template items I'm talking about, you have to have two image template items on all the products. Um, and the same applies to text as well. Now further than that, each template item on each product has to have the same URL parameter name. So for example, the first image on the first product, let's say we'll call it image 1, and the second image on that first product, let's call it image 2, when we come to the second product, then it must also use image 1 and image 2 for the URL parameter names. That's just the way it works. OK, now on with uh, using the template product that you created in Quick Create. First of all, let me get rid of the um, one that we created manually just now. Yes, I'm sure. And now on with Quick Create. So click the Quick Create button. In a moment or two, select to use my own template. There's the uh, the category. So it's really asking me for the category where the template set is held. Done. And now it wants me to um, provide uh, an image now, one of my new designs using this template. So I'll just click on that. And in a moment or two, let's just choose um, something else. Let's have, well, let's use that. Why not? and click on create prod. Oh, before we do that, choosing the fill fit option, um, we're going to leave it set to use the template defaults. And uh, I'm not going to explain in this tutorial why. You'll need to see my, uh, my full-blown guide to, um, to get the explanation for that. So create products. There it is, the single product that we've created with our new design, that uh, lazy fisherman in a boat. Click on Next, fill in the necessary details here, and again my touch typing to the rescue. Um, you will have it as public, and I'm again going to keep it as, uh, as hidden, so that only I see it for this demonstration. And now this is a key thing, products to sell, templates for sale, or templates to reuse for quick create. Templates for sale, and what that'll do is that'll turn our template item into a non-template item once it reaches the marketplace. So again, choose the correct public category for it. I'm just going to choose one at random. Um, I'm going to leave that, and I'm going to leave it in my existing demo category. I have the rights. Yes, I do. And then I believe that says Inage195, maybe? Post it. Oh, let's try again. Areas in ring. Post it. And there it's done. So here we are looking at the finished product that you have created by taking this image and applying it to this product template in Quick Create. Let's now have a look at the finished product. So I'm just clicking on it. And you'll see here, there is no personalize it in this area. And that's because it's no longer a template item. And that is because you used the, the option template for sale. Of course, when you're doing this for real, you'll have lots of product templates in that same category. And remember, uh, they must all use the same number of template items. And they must be named correctly as described earlier. So to quickly recap, you've seen how to create the simplest types of product template. With this type, the designs that end up on the products you create with it are not personalizable by a customer on the product page.
Of course, they can still customise it by pr clicking the Customise It button, but we're talking about the personalizable section. All I have to do now is thank you for watching. I hope you found this to be a useful refresher. And if you've uh, learnt from it, then you'll find plenty more like this over at my Razzmazzle blog. Thanks again for watching. Happy Zazzling all. Bye.